watching Marvel Live from San Diego Comic-Con 2018, and we're here with writer Margaret Stoll. Hey, Margie. Hey, I'm here. Yeah, you're you here. Made you made it. You survived. I survived. I'm back in the happy place. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I want to talk about, first of all, this awesome variant, because every year Marvel does a variant Hello. of Hello. a title. Yeah. And it's They really switched cool. outfits. I love, I love it. it. <laughs> okay. It is my fave. If you knew how much I worship Jewilla Wilson, who actually oh, writes yeah. Ms. Marvel, mm -hmm. like legitimately worship <laughs> her. Like she tweeted something nice the day that this, mm -hmm. that life came out this week. So yeah. we're, we're mm -hmm. hot off the presses. And I just started bowling. Oh. Like that was like the only thing that needed to happen all day. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. the best. Yeah, um, so this is super exciting. And Life of Captain Marvel is here. Yeah. Let's Big deal. Let's talk, talk about, about it. It's one of the most it, powerful please. women in Marvel. How is it like writing that? Well, it's definitely a responsibility. And Carol's <laughs> not, um, she's not easy. She doesn't work with just anybody. No. She'll like, she, she makes trouble mm -hmm. for about two years. And then yeah. finally, finally she'll cough up her story. But this one yeah. was super personal. It's super emotional. Mm -hmm. You know from my past, uh, mm -hmm talks with you that I can barely talk about it without sobbing so like it, it's it's close to home and that's where all the good stuff for a creator really happens yeah. yeah you you do such a beautiful thing with Carol you know through your run of, of Mighty Captain Marvel and and now going into life of Captain Marvel where you put her in tough situations that aren't just tough for her fighting aliens or whatever <laughs> wherever she is um, but it's it seems you you also Put in this like emotional crux into every fight. Uh, where do you where do you find that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the horror crux. Is <laughs> horror, if you will. No, um, I think that when you're as strong as Carol, uh, your issues aren't with your physical strength. Mm -hmm. Right. And I think that part of what I'm looking at here is that being physically strong isn't necessarily what makes you strong. Yeah. And I think that uh, Marvel does a beautiful job of reminding us all the time that our superhumans are humans. Right. So uh, to do a new, not a new, but to do like a new look at her origin story, to kind of tell the untold side of the story, um, we really went back to like a family story and to see what made her, like her human origins and then also her mm -hmm. uh, her super powered uh, origin. So it's it was a it was my very most favorite kind of story. Yeah. You know? yeah. And what do you think are some of the things about the character of Carol Danvers that people have embraced? She's such a beloved character and such a powerful symbol for for women all over the world. Like, what is the main thing about Carol Danvers that is like that is that is Captain Marvel? Well, we, we talked about this a little bit on the Women of Marvel podcast. Shout out, Women of Marvel yeah. podcast. Yeah. It's great. I love it. But, um, and I think part of it is that, uh, like, men are culturally trained to present their strength, and mm. women are culturally trained to sort of hide it. So I, I think that's part of what Carol, like, um, she's an out and proud, strong, you know, female hero. Mm -hmm. And she's always gonna get flack for that. But she's also like one of the very few role models we have like that, which is which is why it's so important. But also she's super flawed. And people who have seen, I mean, more people will get to know her um, now as she makes her big screen debut. But mm -hmm. like, she's, um, she's funny. And that's mm -hmm. sort of like a wonderful side of her. Mm -hmm. But she's also like just, you know, she's struggled as much as everyone else. So she's always about like, her strengths and weaknesses are all sort of piled up together. Mm -hmm. And she, she's kind of great because she sort of owns all of it, you know? What made you go, I want to do an origin story for, for Carol Danvers? Partly there was a feeling that we needed to really, like, like get it clear and straight for everyone as, as we knew a broader audience was coming to the story, uh, to Carol from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But really also, Carol had never really, I mean, Kelly Sue DeConnick is like a goddess. Yes. And she mm. really invented this, this sort of modern take on Captain Marvel. So this is really just layering and building on what she set in motion about six or seven years yeah. ago now. But, um, but it's more about like Carol in her words, sort of looking at her life and telling us how she got to be here. And it's, it's been really like, um, I think it might have, it's one of the most rewarding creative experiences I've had, period. I mean, in books and in games and in, you know, uh, across the board. So it's been super fun. Oh, I, I do want to say thank you, if you can hear the audience yeah. <laughs> behind us. Uh, 
One, not only are we both repping our Captain Marvel yeah, band, yeah, these kicks. Woo! just these fully sweet, sweet kicks. wearing our sweet Holla Star, Holla Star, Holla, um, Holla to Star, baby. Hey, holla. I really, Captain Marvel is taking over, and I mean, I, I think I saw that you were picked, your, the story, the life of Captain Marvel was picked up in a main newspaper, like, Captain oh, Marvel's no. from here. I'm like <laughs> above the fold in main news. <laughs> Amazing. Right? It's, so, it's so exciting. I Someone just sent me a picture of them reading Captain Marvel, like, in Harpswell with, like, the bridge where a critical accident happens and all kinds of things. Like, they were, like, right there going, oh, my gosh, it's right here. So oh, it's exciting. I do want to touch a little bit on where do we pick up in the life of Captain mm -hmm. Marvel for anyone who wants to jump in. Yeah, so this is like we've purposely set it up so you can jump in on the life of Captain Marvel and that will like give you the basics of what you mm -hmm. need to know. Although, honestly, I do totally swear by everything uh, Kelly Sue DeConnick did in her run. So that's like I'm not trying to nudge anything apart, but I'm saying you can pick that up. Carol is with the Avengers, she is going about her business, kicking butts, you know, mm -hmm. saving the day, but she is not okay. And actually what sets it all in motion is Father's Day. And mm -hmm. which which actually is a thing you can kind of watch happen, uh, yeah. you know, uh, as these online now, as we all talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And it's her old friend, Tony, who finally sits her down and is like, you gotta get your business straight. Mm -hmm. um, and I love their friendship. Like well, been you their love and down. Tony Stark, and I know this. I know this from your Black Widow book because you're always going on about like. But I could write like a million pages for Tony. I think I think they cut seventy Tony Stark pages really? out of that Whoa. book. I, I like a bad Tony Stark joke more than anyone. I have like a little bad Tony Stark that sits on one of my shoulders. I don't even really have it. I used to say I had a pepper, but I just have a bad Tony. I have two. Well, what is it about Tony Stark? What is it about Tony Stark? You love what? What's so cool about him? You know, a lot like Carol, he's cracked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he owns it. <laughs> and he's like, deal with me. I'm a force of nature. I have a big ego. I'm strong. I'm powerful. I'm all of these things. I am totally messed up. And a lot of that also is from his family. So I think that like, I think those issues are so relatable mm -hmm. and everybody is working out their, you know, relationship to their family their whole life. And mm -hmm. so I, I sort of love seeing, you know, that's that's essentially also like the joy of Peter Parker yeah, is yeah. like you're working out your family like we all are. <laughs> As this series continues, what can fans look, without giving any secrets and spoilers, what can fans look forward to? Um, it's a very real story. It's a super emotional story and the stakes will just get bigger and bigger. And by the end, you will understand, you will kind of understand what makes her tick and you will understand, you will see her story in an, in an entirely new light. Yeah. Well, I do have a bunch of fan questions here. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get too many, but someone said, Margie, I honestly love Life of Captain Marvel, already one of my all time fave Carol stories, super important for old fans like me and new ones. How will the series impact her life moving forward to her most epic year ever? 2019. Oh, Ooh, I, that gives me goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, it will impact her. Uh, she will be different moving forward. Mm -hmm. So uh, Marvel has been really supportive about putting some big stakes in the ground. So it's going to be interesting. So I can't really say anything. I will just say thank you, unknown internet friend, <laughs> and uh, and hold on because it's going to be a real ride. Um, that I can promise. <laughs> Well, and another person wanted to know what it was like to write the Black Widow novels, but also you got to write Black Widow and Captain Marvel together. Yeah. Yeah. You got to bring your two boos together. How was that? My bays and my boos. Yeah, no. Uh, women of Marvel has been important to me. I love showing women friendships. Yeah. Um, and it's been, you know, whenever I get to show Jessica, either of the Jessicas, the Jesses, yeah. uh, for uh, for Captain Marvel. And also I loved, you know, I was heartbroken when Ms. Mar Kamala and Carol had a parting. I know. And happy when they had a, a non-parting. So, it, you know, I love, I love that. And I think that um, people are different around their friends than yeah, they are absolutely. around, you know, the, the people they're saving. <laughs> <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> Oh, and on a personal note, just thank you for Cloak and Dater, the Soups dating app. Uh, <laughs> One yeah, of my favorite so puns. Cloak and Dater, <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, yeah, okay. as you will notice, there is also, I brought, I, I have multiplied the cats. That's another yes. thing you yes. can always oh, depend cats. upon for me. Always oh, cats. Cat now, from home is fighting with her alien cat. Now with more cats. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, and one more and fan said, Margie, loving the new Carol hairstyle in life, and the reason why she let her hair grow back again. When and how did you guys decide it was time for a change? 
Yes, so Carol has had a controversial hair story mm -hmm. always. And <laughs> truth, truthfully, what happened was, um, Carol, we needed to show that it was not business as usual, mm -hmm. that Carol uh, is taking time out and that this is a real change and that like her life is, she has stepped out of her regular life. Mm -hmm. And I know for me, that's one of the things that happened is like I stopped thinking yeah. about, you know, anything really. Right. So like you're not taking care of yourself in that way. And then we also wanted to show her seeming younger. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. people, you know, I walk in through my house, it's my parents' doorway and I regress. <laughs> oh, and, yes, right? we all do. So like, don't we? <laughs> so Carol is like, you know, forced back into her childhood bedroom. And there's a scene from one, a uh, line from one of the comics I was just revising that's like, it's the return to the scene of the crime. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> the evidence is all still here. So. Um, so that was part of it too, is like, she's confronting her childhood. So that was part of the thing we wanted. But also, um, I I support like women heroes and women and like dogs and cats and boys having whatever hair they want. Yeah. Like, I don't think <laughs> no. it necessarily has to mean anything. And and I think that she was, she was pivoting and you know, it was time for different hair. So she got it. But well, I didn't mean anything other than <laughs> like a, a I wanted to show change. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, Margie, thank you so much for joining us. Pick up, make sure you pick up The Life of Captain Marvel. Such a great book.